getting higher and higher concentration of salt in this descending limb. Why am I getting higher and higher concentration of salt? Because the water 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 Excuse me? Water's water is leaving. We're getting more and more hypertonic or hyperosmotic. And since we're getting more and more hypertonic or hyperosmotic, more water is leaving. And we're getting higher and higher <coughs> concentrations of salt inside the uh, loop of Henley. Does that make sense? Well, this is the whole idea with the countercurrent mechanism mess. The more salt we extrude from the ascending limb, the more water will be reabsorbed or taken out of the descending limb. The more water that's taken out of the descending limb, the more concentrated the salt comes as it's going around this corner. And the more concentrated it becomes, the more salt we can put out. Is that working? Mm -hmm. All right, water can't leave though. We're putting a ton of salt, uh, salt in here. Water is not able to leave, which means that you end up with it being about 100 milliosmoles because water cannot leave. We've set up conditions. It's hypertonic in there. And do you all follow that? That's your countercurrent mechanism. Are we good with that? All right, then we talked about the countercurrent multiplier, countercurrent exchanger, blah, 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 blah. All right, this is your vasorectum. The, the bottom line here, in my opinion, every capillary in our body is a big jumble of little tiny vessels, aren't they? Simple squamous epithelial tissue. The whole point to every capillary in our body is equilibrium. And that's every molecule has its thing. The problem is we can't do that here. We need this to stay, this hyperosmotic conditions. We need a lot of salt to stay in the kidney in order to do the job that it needs to do. So we came, we came up. I was one of the ones who came up with this. <laughs> of an idea. Let's take a capillary and make it just rather straight and not all complex. All right? So by taking this capillary straight, What's happened? What's the uh, osmolality of the uh, blood at this point? 300, 300, 300 milliosmoles. And guess what? We want it over here to be 300 milliosmoles, don't we? Mm -hmm. But we know we go from 300 to 600 to 900 down to what? 1,200 milliosmoles, yes? Yes. All right, as we're coming down and we're getting to saltier, saltier environment, what is going to leave the blood? Water. Water. Does so by osmosis. What is going to enter the blood? Sodium and chloride, both by diffusion. Does that make sense to y'all? Saltier you get, that means you got more sodium and chloride out here and less water. So water's going to come out and sodium and chloride are going to come in. But now we're turning the corn. But, oh, let me stop here a second. Keep in mind, this is now doing also what every capillary in the body does do, which is. Put out oxygen, bring in carbon dioxide, put out all kinds of nutrients or goodies, and bring in all kinds of waste. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. So this capillary is doing the job that every capillary in our body does. But because it's long and straight, we're getting around over here. Now, again, we're not worried about the oxygen and carbon dioxide. We're not worried about that. But what can we see as we start to rise? We're going from 1,200 milliosmoles to 900. What's happening? In here. Water is going where? In. Water is going to move in. What's going to move out? Sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride. And they move out again by diffusion. And we start going up higher. We're now at 600 milliosmoles. And we get up to 300 milliosmoles. Does this make sense to y'all? We're going to have the same thing. So all we've done is we've got the uh, countercurrent exchanger, the countercurrent, what's the other term? Multiplier. 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 We're um, putting out all the sodium and bringing in all the water. We're just, we're doing an exchange here with the blood and the tissue. Does that make sense to y'all? That's all it is. So the difference in the names is just where it's actually happening? Uh -huh. okay. um, what I didn't stress, and I won't on the test, this is primarily happening with the uh, juxtamedullary, excuse me, juxtamedullary nephrons. Remember the juxtamedullary nephrons. All you have to, you have synods in there, 
in your nose. Mm -hmm. It's where we get a more concentrated urine, and this is really why. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm more worried about the process than I am worried about some of that other stuff. Does that make sense to y'all? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So those are two different processes? Well, yes. Um, yes. Yes. And that's the this is the multiplier in the loop of Henley. I the, um, this is why I was trying to avoid because this is awful. I always no, in the the which is the exchanger. So the loop of Henley is the countercurrent mechanism. Yeah. Yes. The loop of Henley. This is just the how this works is mechanism. Yes. And the multiplier. And the multiplier, the exchanger, is over here, and I just forget.